Hoi hoi. Happy Saturday. It is Saturday. Good. I'm getting better with my days of the week. That's good, because I learned that in senior kindergarten. So how are you? Good. I'm glad. Um, today, very good day, I think. Um, didn't get a lot done today, but got some done today. This morning, I woke up at 9.35, which on a Saturday, pretty respectable time. Get that hair out of my face. Pretty respectable time. But I started work at 10, and to start work at 10, I leave the house at 9.30. So wake up at 9.35, look at clock, oh dear, oh dear, I'm late. A couple swear words said, running down the hallway half naked, had to get to the bathroom, of course, because it's the morning and you've got things to do in the morning. So I finished doing those things, came back, got dressed, sprinted out the door, and ended up being three minutes late for my shift. So, you know, not too bad, but still, not good. I had a three and a half hour lobby shift, which I told you yesterday, which means that I just literally walked around for three and a half hours cleaning. Which was, I guess, okay, until someone came in and decided to put paper towel in the toilet and flush it, which flooded the bathroom. So, an hour of cleaning that up, yeah, left me with two and a half hours on lobby. Something did happen today at work that I did not agree with at all. We have a homeless guy who comes in and sits in our restaurant. It is freezing out, absolutely freezing. And our managers called the police today to get him kicked out of our restaurant. Every time he's in there, I ignore him. I let him sleep. Holds is a warm place where he can sleep and he doesn't have to worry about getting frostbite. And today, our managers kicked him out. And I was extremely frustrated with that. I didn't say anything because, you know, it is technically that should have happened. I think, I think that is what would have been best for the restaurant. But in humanity speaking, and speaking as, you know, Christian, I don't feel like that was the kindest thing to do, or the right thing to do. So anyways, that was frustrating. I got home about, let's say, I got off at 1.30, so I came home around 2, and I ate lunch. I had one of my microwave things, which was 360 calories. And I had a piece of bread and brittle, which I don't know how many calories that is, but that probably would have taken me to maybe, I don't know. And so, um, I was pretty surprised. I didn't eat as many cookies as I usually do. So I'm really backing off on those. So, um, I'm thinking, I'm getting my self-motivation up, so I'm not eating as many baked goods and things, which I feel bad because my sister's making them, and she seems to get frustrated when I say I can't have them, but, um, you know. Anyways, then I came upstairs and I did some work, and I finished this evening, I finished a segment for my portfolio for Ryerson, so that segment's done. Now I have to make my video, which is going to take forever, and I'm going to have to and have to do a project outline, which is going to take, you know, an hour, probably. Um, but it's good because I need to put thought into it, so it'll probably take two hours. Um, but it's only 500 words max, so I guess that's pretty good. Um, the segment I just finished, I finished it, and it was 501 words. So I had to find a word that I could take out or change a sentence in a way, so I got it down to exactly 500 words, so good. Um, it's like the literacy test. You have to fill the lines, but you can't go past. It's that scary ultimatum, no less, no more. Um, so yeah, so then for dinner, I was a little frustrated at first, but then I sort of, you know, cool. My my, I came downstairs after working on that, and my sister and my mother were out, and... You know, I sort of. I had a piece of baby bell cheese. Actually, I had two pieces of baby bell cheese and a cup of water. When I say a cup, I don't mean like 250 milliliters. I mean a glass of water. Um, and I waited for them to come home. And when they did, let's see if you're still recording. Yes, you are. That's my guitar rack. Hello. Um, and when they came home, they said, "We have dinner. We brought pizza." And I went, "Oh." 
Okay. Tag, get the plates. Okay. We bought you thin crust veggie. Okay. Still not the best choice, but thin crust is better than, you know, deep dish or something. And vegetarian doesn't have all of the oils from the meats. And uh, extremely oily is cheese pizza, which is extremely oily. Um, so I had a few slices of that, but I didn't eat the whole pizza, so good. Um, kudos. Then for my dessert, I had two peach cups. Yeah, that was good. So that was basically my diet today. Um, tomorrow morning, I'm going to try... Strong Vitality gave me an idea of egg whites, so I'm going to have those for breakfast, along with some peanut butter, or peanuts. I should buy some peanuts. Um, so I've got some more shopping to do. That's okay. Um, so I'm going to try that for breakfast. I think that'll taste good. And I actually look forward to that, because I really like eggs. And I don't really like egg yolks, so, I mean, this is the best situation for that. Um, I am slouching, so I <laughs> look kind of funny, um, but now you're sort of staring at me from a down angle, and if I look like this, it's a very dramatic shot, and if you do this, it's a very dramatic shot, and if I do this, it's an extremely dramatic shot. Sorry, my mind is still in cinema mode. Um, where is my brain at? I think I left it somewhere. Either way, so that was my day. Tomorrow, I'm um, going to wake up, go to church, and then I have work, um, and then I'm planning to take the dogs for a good walk. Um, I'm sort of going to play tomorrow by ear. I have a fry shift tomorrow, so by the time I get home, I'm going to be either suicidal or homicidal because people are at Christmas time. <sighs> either way, I'm going to have to deal with it. But thanks for watching. Um, you know, slancha. Have a good evening, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.